Hey everybody, today we're gonna be making an Arduino robot that can avoid objects. Every component used for the build of this project will be linked in the video description along with the code. Alright, so first you need an L298N motor driver, an ultrasonic sensor and an Arduino Nano. You also need a handful of jumper wires, uh, male to male and female to female type. Uh, you would also need a breadboard, screwdriver, an LED and a resistor. Here is the base of the robot. As you can see there are two battery packs and a breadboard on top. So I got two 6 volt battery packs uh, which I connected in series so I can get an output voltage of about 12 volts. Then I connected the negative end of the first battery pack to the top ground rail and the positive end of the second battery pack to one of the vertical rails. Below the robot there are two motors and in the front there is a free rolling wheel. An ultrasonic sensor sends some ultrasonic waves. Those bounces off objects and come back to the ultrasonic sensor. We know that the velocity is equal to the distance divided by the time. Therefore, the distance is equal to the velocity times the time. And here, the velocity is basically the speed of sound, which is approximately 340 meters per second. And the time is basically the amount of seconds it took for the wave to hit an object and come back to the sensor. Uh, the time here is in meters per second. However, the ultrasonic sensor sends us the time in microseconds. Therefore, we have to divide by 10 to the 6th to get it in seconds. The velocity is in meters per second, so we have to multiply by 100 to get it in centimeters per second. We divide the result by 2, so we only get the distance from the object. Now let's start by fixing the Arduino Nano into the breadboard. Then connect the ground of the Arduino Nano to the ground rail of the breadboard. Once you're done, connect the ultrasonic sensor to the small breadboard as follow. Then connect the ground on the sensor to the ground on the breadboard. After that, you can connect the Arduino 5 volt to the plus rail on the breadboard. Now you can connect the ultrasonic sensor's VCC pin to the plus rail on the breadboard. Now get yourself four jumper wires and connect them to digital 2, 3, 4 and 5 on the Arduino. And then connect two other jumper wires to digital 6 and 7 on the Arduino. Now connect female header pins to all of those jumper wires. Now on your L298N module, you can see on the bottom right corner Pins labeled as enable pins and input pins labeled as N1, N2, N3 and N4. Connect digital pin 2 and 3 of the Arduino to input 1 and 2 of the module and connect digital 4 and 5 of the Arduino to input 3 and 4 on the L298N. Once you're done, connect the digital pin 6 of the Arduino to enable A and connect digital pin 7 to enable B on the L298N. The motors will be connected to the two sides of the module labeled as output 1, output 2, output 3 and output 4. Now can make a connection between the positive side of our battery to the plus 12 volt on the module. Now connect the pins of your left motor to output 1 and 2 and the pins of your right motor to output 3 and 4. The rotation of your motor depends on the order in which you connected the pins. Now 
Now what's left to do is to connect the trig pin of the ultrasonic sensor to the digital 8 on the Arduino and the echo pin on the sensor to digital 9. Now you can see that once you connect the ground of the module to the common ground on the breadboard, the light should turn on. Now for the LED. When you connect an LED, the longer lead should be connected to the positive and the smaller lead should be connected to the negative. The current that should flow through these small LEDs should be about 20 milliamp, which is the same as 0.02 amps. Ohm's law states that the voltage is equal to the resistance times the current. Therefore, we can calculate that with 5 volt, we need a resistance of about 250 ohms. We can use a resistance of 220 ohms which allows about 23 milliamps to pass through the LED. Now connect the 220 ohm resistor to VCC and then connect the LED in series. Finally, connect it to the common ground on the big breadboard. And here it is, your robot is complete. Now connect your Arduino to your computer. Whenever you do so, you should see the LED turn on. Now head over to the Arduino IDE software. First, we will make two variables called trig and echo, which will be assigned the values 8 and 9. Then we'll make an integer called distance. So in setup, we start a for loop, which goes from 2 to 7, and we set all these digital pins to be output pins. Then we set the pins 6 and 7 to be high to turn on the motors. After that, we initialize the trig pin to be an output pin and the echo pin to be an input. We wait 2 seconds and then we start the serial communication. In the function check distance, we return an integer which is the distance. First, we set the trig pin to be low, we wait 2 microseconds and then we set it to be high and we wait 10 microseconds. And then we calculate the distance uh, by using the function pulse in whenever echo is high and we multiply by 0 0.017 as we calculated earlier. Then we have our functions to move forward, backward, right and left and all they do is alternate between high and low for the digital 2 to 9. These values may change depending on your pin connections. Then we have the self-driving function. First it calculates the distance and it assigns it to an integer. Then it checks if the distance is greater than 50. If so it will move forward otherwise it will move backward for a second. Then it will stop and then it will move right for a random amount of time and it will check again if the distance is greater than 50 then it will restart the loop otherwise it will go left for another random amount of time and finally in loop all we do is call the self-driving function once you're done upload the sketch and connect the ground connection and then uh, power your Arduino through a battery and your robot should be working Thank you guys for watching, don't miss out on the other videos and don't forget to subscribe, that would be awesome, see you next time.